video is about derivatives. Primarily, we are going to look at um, how to take a derivative at a point. Now, the derivative of a function, f, at a number a is given by this formula, f prime of a, as limit of f, uh, as limit of h going to 0, f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h. You can have an equivalent notation of f prime of a as x approaches a instead of h approaches 0. So you have seen this formula in your calculus book. So we are going to focus on how you can use technology to take the derivative. All right. Now, once we have the derivative, as you know, that the f prime of a is going to be the slope of the tangent line at that point. And if this is the formula that we can use to find the slope of that tangent line, you can put it in the um, point slope form of the line, y minus f of a equals the slope f prime of a times x minus a. So we are going to do an example that takes all this into consideration. The question is, what is the derivative of the function f of x equals 2x minus x zero, I mean 2x minus x squared at 0.5? And 0.75 is the y coordinate. Now, we start by putting our function in our equation. So it is 2x minus x squared and use for x's, use this button right here. And I want to just graph this function. So I will pick a window by clicking here. And it's going to go from negative 1 to 3. I already know how this function behaves. You can actually experiment if you don't know how this function behaves. Y min negative 1 to 2. And when you graph, you are going to see this graph right here. Now, if I want to use tables to find the um, slope of that function at 0.5, what I need to do is I am going to put this f of a plus h in L1, all right? So remember how what a was. It was 0.5. So what I'm doing, uh, for example, here at 0.6, h is 0.1, right? So I'm making h smaller and smaller and approaching a of 0.5. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to enter the equation, which is 2x minus x squared in L2. To do that, you go to stat, edit, and I pre-entered those values for you, 0 0.6, 0 0.55, and you entered them just pushing these keys, and then down arrow. Now I'm going to go and enter f of a plus h. So to do that, you go to L2, push enter. Now you're going to enter the formula, 2 L1, which is this, minus L1 squared, which is again the same one. And then you're going to take the square. When you push enter, you're going to see those values here and they are equivalent to that, all right? Now, what we're going to do, now we're going to, this is FA plus H. We are going to go to L3. In L3, let me clear that. We are going to enter the difference, which is going to be the um, L2, which is F plus H. So I'm going to put, L2, minus what is f of a? I know that it was 0.75. We had already calculated that. Divided by, what is it? It is the h. And what is the h? Is the difference between this number, any number here, and 0.5. So, we will put L1 
minus 0.5. When you push enter, you're going to see that the values start at 0.9, but then they really, really get close to 1 as h gets smaller. So I can comfortably say using the tables that f prime of 0.5 is 1. That's the slope of the tangent line when x is 0.5. Well, I can do the same thing now with the store button. Again, we have the same formula. This is how you do it. Um, you're going to uh, store the values to h, okay? And we will start with 0.1. And then we are going to put a formula. Remember how it is? It is the f of a plus h minus f of a. So we're going to put y1 of. Okay, y1, what was it? We entered it here, remember? So y1 of 0.5 plus h minus y1 of 0.5, that will give you the top, divided by h. So let's, and you do that in the home menu. But there are a couple of places you need to be aware of. So let's do that. We are going to go 0.1, and we are going to store it. And where is H? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Right here. It's hard to see. All right. And we are going to use a column. So I can go and use this from the catalog right here. All right. So this takes care of that I am storing point 1 to H. Now I'm going to enter the Y1. Where am I going to get that Y1 button? That is going to come from the variable. Look, there's the vars key. All right, and it's the Y vars. And then it's a function. Do you see it? Let's take that Y1. Here we go. Of what? 0.5 plus, remember I'm putting the H, so here's the H. Okay, and then let's close the parentheses. Minus what? Y1 again, where was that? In the vars menu. Here we go, Y variable, function, and it's the first one. Y1 of what? 0.5. All right, and I don't calculate that. I can actually take that. And let's close that so that the number of parentheses match. Divided by H. Here is H. All right, now, when you push Enter, Look what you get, 0.9. Now, that is for h of 0.1. So I can make these h's smaller and smaller, and you'll see you'll approach 1. So how do I do that? I can get the entry and edit this. Look, here's a trick. Second entry. And then you can go back, and you can enter, actually, right here, 0.01. All right, to do that, you do the instant insert, and I put a zero here. Do you see that? When you enter, watch, now I got a better one. So you can continue doing that, and maybe 0.001 or something. So let's do it one more time. Second entry, go back, and this time put 0.001. Here we go, insert, second insert, put another zero, and then enter. Do you see it? So this is a very good method of doing that. You're just using the store button. All right. Now you can also go and uh, get the end derivative function, and that is under the math menu. If you look a little bit closely, here's the math menu. All right. And it is under the end derivative. Okay. So let's go down. Here we go. Do you see the end derivative? And you can push that. All right. The way you enter it, now you're going to enter y1. Do you remember how we were getting the y1? You go to variable, y variables, function, and pick the first one. Okay. Comma. And now this is the independent variable x comma, and remember where we are looking for? When x is 0.5, so you put the value at the end, 0.5. Do you see it? And close parentheses, enter. Here we go, 1. 
That is the derivative command. Now we can do it, um, the derivative command from the graph menu. Remember how the graph is? We have it right here. We can go to the calculate. And we can get the dy dx from the calculate. This is the one that I usually use because it's so convenient. Because it also shows me the, um, the graph. And I'm going to enter now the 0.5. Do you see it? And then when I push enter, here it is, dy dx equals 1. A very, very handy function. All right. Now that I know that it is 1, um, I can also um, use the end derivative thing in the graph function to draw the derivative of a function. Look how this works. Um, you have 2x minus x squared, so you enter your f in there. Now, rather than taking the derivative and taking all this, you can just say, calculator, please take the derivative. Remember, end derivative thing, you just go to math, so you can go here, and you can go to end derivative. It is right here, the eighth thing. So now it is in the y2. Remember how you do it? Now you need to get the y1 from the variable, remember? And you go to y variable, function, and pick the y1. Very good. And what was it? Comma, x, the independent variable. And you are taking the derivative with respect to x again. So you need to enter x one more time. Here we go. Do you see it? Now, it's not a value, but it is just the x. So that means it's going to take anything. So when you go and you can make that, um, let's say I, I want to make the derivative a little darker. So you can go to the left, right here, push enter. You see now it's darker. So when you graph it, you're going to see the derivative and the function on the same graph. It is a very handy tool. All right. Now, if I want to uh, graph the tangent line at a point, remember this was my f of x, 2x minus x squared. And remember my, uh, uh, my uh, slope was 1. So I put those values in there, y minus 0.75, which is the y1, equals 1, which is the slope, x minus 0.5. Work things around. Then you'll get y equals x plus 0.25. All right. So I want to see now the graph of my function and graph of the tangent line. Okay, let's put that in there. Um, let me take that derivative out of the equation right now. So I made it inactive, but I'm going to put that equation of the line right there, x plus now, when I push the graph, it's going to graph the function, and it's going to graph the tangent line. Here we go. Beautiful. Do you see it? All right, so these are different things that you can do on your calculator related to uh, the derivative at a point.